I have self delusion. Ginger, let's do self delusion. Let's start. A couple of days ago, I received an alarming letter from my mother. It was strange. Not like her usual letters. Mom lives in a house alone in a village where there is no electricity. I was always worried about her and wanted to take her to the city, but she categorically refused. It appears my mother... To my mother that the district has become restless. People are disappearing in neighboring villages and strange silhouettes can be seen near the house in the evenings. Even with the bolt on the door, she doesn't feel safe. I need to visit my mother, make sure everything is fine, and persuade her to move to the city. I think it will be easier to do now. I've been on the road for two day days and I don't feel well. The priority is to make it to the house where I can at least get some rest. Okay, uh, getting to the house. It's foggy. I've been on the road for several hours now. It seems I'm on the right track. Let's go. Am I drunk or really that tired? Hmm. It's this way. Nothing much. There's a doll. Oh. Okay. More dolls. What are they doing? What's what's happening? It's on fire. Everything's on fire. Yeah, this is fine. Totally. I'll just hide here. No, 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 angry doll. The memories, why now? One night of September the 9th, in the orphanage near the village Borovoye, a fire broke out. According to the reports, the fire was caused by reckless fire safety. When emergency services arrived on the scene, the building had completely burned down. One source said, a single child escaped that terrible incident, as did a teacher who was absent at the time of the fire. So, only one child really survived. These memories. Is that me? I'm the only person who survives the fire? How? Did the, the teacher cause the fire? The village has been abandoned. Is it just me or is the game very silent? No, the volume is at 100%. No, it's actually fine. Okay, I guess there aren't a lot of in-game uh, sounds. So, well... Am I just getting out of here now? Yeah.
I don't think there are many other ways here. Here? <laughs> this if someone is rolling you can hear the steps then without looking back as fast as possible run away only in the light of wax candles, you will not be eaten by the colobuck with razor fangs. Good to know. There's a ball. There is a path behind the fence. Is there? Maybe this way. Has someone entered the house or am I just seeing things? Well, there's a light here, so someone has been here recently. Been to the first three lessons. I can't even remember for how long I haven't seen my mom. Of course, we, we wrote letters to each other, but I rejected her every invitation to visit. For some reason, everything I did at work was very important to me. Now that I'm entering the house, I feel an inexplicable fear. What if my mother's fears are not baseless and I arrived too late? I'm so tired, I'm just falling off my feet and all sorts of nonsense is coming into my head. Now I'll see my mother, calm down and everything will be fine. Doubt. It's so dark here. Wait, am I hearing children's voices? Learning is light, ignorance is darkness. When the bell rings, go to the lesson. I'm in school. Who did that? Ball wants to get in? Okay, Ball, get in. Hiding under the desk. You need to survive for a certain time. The main interface is located at the bottom left side of the screen. It has a timer that counts until the end of the level. Okay. I have found suitable matches. Good to have those. I'm never too old to learn. Haste would make waste. This is locked. It's here. Lesson two. If you if you hear a scratching noise, watch out for a lapot on the floor. If you see one, don't step on it. What's a lapot? A tale about the best shoes. One day, a grandmother wove best shoes for her grandson, made out of the best wood bark, a sight to behold. She warned him to take care of them, because the best shoes are magical, made with love. The boy did not listen to his grandmother and exchanged them for a wooden toy horse. He was riding, having fun all day long. The boy woke up next morning and the best shoes were standing next to him. He ran out into the street, the best shoes followed him. He ran faster than ever through the village, shouting. He grazed all his feet in the blood running barefoot and made the whole village laugh at him. 
What kind of a cruel village is that? You need to respect others' work. Okay. Creepy story. What? Study, study, and study again. This is already a nightmare. You have found a toy for oven. You can't judge a book by its cover. Find toys throughout the house and throw them into the oven to keep it calm. If the oven's anger reaches 100%, then the house will be filled with smoke and you won't be able to breathe. Pay attention to the indicator on the main interface and don't let this happen. A toy for the oven. So it doesn't get angry. That makes perfect sense. <sighs> oh, the magical door is now open. Scene 3. You can't keep warm by the cold oven. You need to survive an hour of game time, 5 minutes of real time. The main interface is located at the bottom left side of the screen. It has a timer that counts until the end of the level. What's that? Hello? I'm home. Apparently I lost consciousness when I went inside. How quiet. I need to look around. There seems to be a note on the door. Note. When you left, your mother was bereft. Fear began to slowly consume her. The longer you are gone, the stronger we became. Do you think you were a good daughter? To leave when your mother needed you so much? If you want, we'll leave you two alone. Yes, I would like that. Will you play by our rules? Must I? Hold out until the morning. Your victory. Should you fail, we take you both. How long until the morning? Okay, the same story. Found a toy for the oven. Where, where is the oven? Can't take it. The oven starts to worry. Oven, where are you? Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, let's do this again. Find toys and throw them in the oven. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's like there there were more toys last time. 
Okay. Why is this locked? Oh, you have to read this? Okay. Maybe, I don't know. Not the time to water the flowers. If you say so. Matches. Living room. have maximum toys. This is locked? It looks like. Okay, feed. Yeah, eat them all up. Okay. What am I hiding from? The monsters. I need more dolls now. There is a large attic on the second floor, but I don't need to go there yet. It said now, but why would it be there otherwise? Maybe it's just there. Yeah, sorry, Avan, I'm all out of toys. But I have a lot of matches. Okay, there was another toy. That way. Is this open? No. Let me found two. Three. Cool. Wait, let's take him to the oven. Is that the angry shoe? Yeah, that's the angry shoe. Okay. Who's that? Oh, this oven is uh, worrying very quickly. You have to avoid the shoe because that thing is deadly. Wait, is it gone? It was here, wasn't it? Hmm. Was that other room really locked? 
No, it's open. What? Why did I think it was locked? Oi. What is this? Dear Yaroslava Petrovna, I'm writing to inform you that I have decided to grant your request for custody of Lena after everything that has happened. She needs a caring person who is prepared to face the difficulties that will come with raising her. You have been through a lot and deserve to finally become a family. I recommend you seek the help of a specialist to begin with. <laughs> Sincerely, Alexei Dmitriev. There should be a plus IQ graphic. <laughs> yeah, like, this requires warning, this requires thinking. Make sure to get coffee. Okay, first hour is over. The house has changed. Before there, there were none these creatures in it, and mushrooms did not grow on the walls. I don't feel safe, like a pair of evil eyes are watching me. From every dark corner, why is this happening to me? I love my mom very much, so I won't go anywhere without her. She's not even in the house. Unless she's on the attic that I can't reach. Lesson 4. If a cola box sees you, stand by a lit candle to scare it off. A candle's safety zone is indicated by a circle of runes. Candles do not stay lit forever though, and some creatures can even light them or snuff them out. Always try to have matches on hand. The tale of the Kolobok. Once upon a time, in a cottage tucked into the edge of an ancient dark forest, there lived a very old, very poor couple. Weak with hunger, the old man said to his wife, Look around the house and see if you can scrape together enough flour to make a Kolobok. What is that? She combed carefully through every container and cabinet, but the old woman was only able to find a handful of flour and a few other ingredients. With care, she combined them, kneaded the dough, and shaped it into a bread roll. Oh, it's a bread roll. Called the kolobok, which she baked and laid on the windowsill to cool. However, their greedy neighbors smelled the delicious aroma. They gnashed their teeth in jealousy, saying, It's not fair that we go hungry while our neighbors have plenty. I mean, that was hardly plenty. They stole the kolobok and threw it into the forest. If they were hungry, why didn't they eat it? The old couple cried for a long time, for that was all they had and there was nothing that could be done. Since that day, no one has gone near the forest. People say that the kolobok rolls around in the dark, growing and gobbling up woodland animals and anything else in its path. This is why people should never envy that which another person has, obviously. Okay. Well, poor people, anyway. Rich people are fine. They'll, they'll never be in danger of this. Where, where is it going? Wait just a moment. I've been here, right? Yeah, that's lesson one. What the? I don't know. I have no idea. If a color box sees you, stand by a lit candle to scare it off. A candle's safety zone is indicated by a circle of runes. Candles do not stay lit forever. <sighs> hey, surviving again. So I have to make sure the candles are lit. Okay. Oh, and I still have to feed the oven. What? No, no, no. Candle? Ah. 
evil bread roll that poor people made. I mean, the moral could have been this is why people shouldn't be left to starve. But no, it's uh, if you're starving, do not envy the people who are not. Because if you do, a bread roll will kill you. No, 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 lights! Ah! Lights! I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here! Ah! Light! Light, light, light! 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 Light? Ah! Still here? No, 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 Light. Ah. Mm. I'll need more matches. Okay, find some. Ah, oh, what's that? Oh, that's the shoe. Of course it is. Ah! No. No, no! I thought it can't get inside the circle. Uh... Okay, I should pee to the oven. Uh, maybe I don't have to, it's pretty... No, 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 no. Okay, this is okay. Oh! <laughs> ah, try again. Hmm. But already? Seriously? How? How did it run so fast? <sighs> and I'm playing this on easy difficulty. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to try the others. Wait, do I don't even have matches now? Can it see me here? Maybe I should hide in that chest or closet or something. Maybe I can find matches here. No, just dolls. Uh... No, can't go there yet. Ah! Okay, is this safe? I found matches. Just, I have one match. I have enough dolls. Two matches. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. 
Match. Okay. Uh, maybe I should just stay here. A little longer. Still with the angry shoe here. No. No, go away. Did I beat the oven? I don't know if I have to. Maybe I should. Wait, didn't I? I'm out of matches. How? That's confusing. Oh no, it's here. Ah, oh, that one is up. No, 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 no. Hide. Can I hide? I don't know. Wait, now it's on again? That is very confusing. I'm all out of matches now. No! No, 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 no. I want to put something in the oven, but... Oh, now the angry shoe is here. I don't know if I can. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm good. No matches? I'm just gonna hide here. Yeah, that, that's what I'll do. <laughs> Until the time is out. Wow, dinos had such good vision. Yeah. They they inherited it from the T-Rex maybe. Fairy tales have been read to me as a child, but I don't remember any such thing happening in any of them. If at first I hoped that all this was just a bad dream and that I would soon wake up in my bed, now I don't understand what is real and what is not. Meanwhile, I only lasted a couple of hours and it's still a very long time until dawn. How long? It would help to know how long. Yeah. Where do I go? Oh, this... No, it's just something on the floor here. What's this? Lesson 5. Quickly turn off objects that have gone mad. Otherwise, the leshy will enter the house and wander. If the leshy does come in, it will leave after a certain time as long as it doesn't detect you. Hide if you need to. For this purpose, chests and wardrobes are suitable. Make sure that the leshy doesn't detect where you are hiding. No noise here. Okay. I guess. 
Hide inside. Everything has its own time. What's this? Look. The Tale of Leshy. Near one village, there was a dark forest temple. From ancient times, the inhabitants had been bringing gifts there, asking for protection and blessings. The more valuable the gift was, the more you could ask for. Interesting. The inhabitants found out that the war was coming to them, and there was no escape from it. There is only one hope, a sacrifice at the temple, and out of fear for their lives in the face of the coming disaster, people brought a terrible sacrifice, their firstborn slaughtered at the temple. Thus they created for themselves a strong protector, Leshy, but they lost their souls at the same moment. They rotted away and their trace disappeared from the human world forever. People say that Leshy, incarnate by the evil, still roams the forests, therefore you should not make noise and shout in the wilderness of the forest, otherwise you can attract Lashy's attention and bring great misfortune on yourself. Okay, well, don't kill your children is, I guess, a good point. It seems to have calmed down. I mean, the fact that they actually got protection in the first place. It's like they summoned a demon. What's this? September 21st. The day will forever remain the date of a most terrible tragedy. The horror of this day lies not only in the large number of victims, but also in the in inexplicable circumstances of the incident. At 11 o'clock in, in the morning, screams began to be heard coming from school number 401. The fire alarm had activated. Children and teachers began to leave, but not everyone was able to escape in time. Emergency services arrived quickly at the scene and extinguished the fire. It turns out the fire may not be the only cause of death. Interrogation of eyewitnesses revealed there seemed to be more going on within the school at the time. Children and teachers have reported strange creatures coming out of nowhere, grabbing people and dragging them away in an unknown direction. Hmm, strange creatures. I still can't leave. Why? What's that? This? It seems to have calmed down. Uh, something else. Okay, it's quiet now. No. What now? I'll just hide. Oh, there he is! But he's not supposed to see me in the chest. How am I even supposed to do this? I'm still alive. What the hell was that? Uh, I don't know. What was that? What is that?
Quickly turn off objects that have gone mad. Okay. No problem. At least I don't have to deal with undead newborns or something. Okay, let's go um, feed the oven. What was that? No warning this time. Still there. Just waiting for the light to go off, probably. Yeah. Have two matches. Three. I like the mushrooms. They look nice. I'd keep them. And it looks like someone was growing them intentionally. So maybe they just spread through the walls? This action is not available yet. Hmm, I'm out of dolls. Ah! It went that way. Where's the noisy object? There. But I'm out of dolls. Ah, no, 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 no. Am I safe here? I don't know. Maybe. Ah, how did that guy get in the house? I have to hide, I have to hide, I have where can I hide? I need to hide closet or something. I'm dead. Hmm. Right again. If at first you don't succeed, get killed again. I should 
to always stay close to a chest or closet or something. Go away. Roll, roll to the other room. That's right. Nothing for you here. Back. I'm out of matches. Not good. Here is matches. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's here. No, 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 no. It's not supposed to shoe. No. point where I can just hide noisy object I don't know but I think I'm going to go hide maybe I can just chill here no dogs no matches Here are some dolls. Oh, and matches. Nice. Maybe I don't have to hide. Object here. Yeah, I'll just stay here. <laughs> I'm good here. Oh, the oven is not happy about this. Yeah, keep trying. Hmm. Hi, Matrix user. I don't know. Not yet. But it's like every day I get new monsters. No, every hour. I saw how creature entered the house in front of me and now it's wandering around here. Its howling makes my blood run cold. I just want to run and hide. Remember how, as a child, I loved to hide in a chest. It was my personal fortress where no one could harm me. It's good that even after so many years I can hide in it.
Um, yeah, it's good that I can still fit in a chest. There. Are you looking at me? He's definitely looking at me. They're both looking at me. Nice of them to be paying attention. If you hear the roar of the antsy ball, you can chase it away by ringing the bell in front of the window that it's attempting to enter. Try to determine its location using the sound it makes. It's easier to do this with headphones. Be quick because you cannot hide once it enters. So, I can't hide from this one. Yeah, looks... Uh, not too friendly. Is there a story or something? The place drawn on that painting looks surprisingly familiar, as if I had been there before. I remember there being a storm as well. Where am I now? Read. The tale of the Antibal. One day a family went to the fair to earn money and the son was left to look after the house. They told him, don't open the door for strangers, don't stay up until dark and put ringing bells on the window at night so that the evil spirits of the forest do not enter the house. The boy ignored the parental instructions and just went to bed. In the middle of the night, he heard that someone was walking around the house, scratching the walls, looking for the entrance to the house. The boy looked out the window, and there was Ansibal, of course. The horns were huge, the mouth was toothy, the claws on the paws were like scythe, a strong bolt hung on the door, so Ansibal could not get through it and decided to climb through the window. The boy was scared, he wanted to hide, but how can you hide from such a monster? He remembered what his parents had told him, found bells and rang. As soon as the monster climbed through the window, it heard a bell ringing, howled and fled into the forest. Honor and respect your parents and listen carefully to their advice. This story has convinced me. Yes, they, uh, they are always right. Oh boy, what now? It's pitch dark, yes. Yes it is, it also appears to be cold. Someone is coming. Who? And why? And why am I here? Oh, there he is, is that Ansibal? He has a big eye. It hurt me. I need to be more careful. How? Can I crouch? Is that rain? Or sweat? Or am I just losing it? Diary of a Belfry Keeper. For 20 years I looked after the bell tower and rang the bell every morning. But now the piece of junk is, in a, dan is a danger to others. The kids have gotten into the habit of climbing it without asking, so the doors have to be closed. When I closed the iron gate at the top, I dropped the key. Judging by the sound, it fell to the platform below. I won't search anymore, besides, the bell will never ring again. I need a key. I have to return for it. What? No way. At least there's lightning. That. Key. Okay, that's nice. It wasn't too far. 
So I have to. Oh, I have to ring a big bell to get rid of the Ansibal creature. Is that it? Or not? Oh, yeah, it's the bell. Cool. Get out of here and don't come back. <laughs> I can chase it away but by ringing the bell in front of the window that it's attempting to enter. Try to determine its location. If there are no bells, I will have to find them all at the beginning. Some houses have a lot of useful things in the attic. Oh, so now I go to the attic. If Ansibal comes here, I need some sort of bell. I saw it in the attic. I'll go get a bell. No matches? Matches! Wait, so the attic was kind of not this way. Yeah, I don't think I can take any more dolls. Here, yeah, let's uh, use some of them. So the attic was this way, right? Ah, now I can enter. Doll. Oh. More dolls. Okay, I'm full. And dolls. One of eight. Eight? There's eight of those? Eight. There's eight. Okay. Two. Maybe I don't need all of them? Four. Five. Six. Where is that? Oh, the oven is uh, upset with me. Okay, I should go feed the oven. Oh, just one more. Okay, got the bells. Uh, now I need to get back down. Okay, I need to feed the oven. Which is right here, so that shouldn't be too hard. That way? Can I just ring like all the bells? But I think it was... Oh, here he is. He retreated.
that way. Maybe I shouldn't be spending the bells until uh, until I see it. Trying to enter. Ah! Retreated for now. Oh, it's almost over. Cool. Okay, that takes care of that one. Fourth hour. How many hours? Not only did Ansible try to get into the house through the window, but the rest of the creatures tried to catch me as well. It's good that there were bells in the attic. Without them, I would not have survived. Okay. Um... Here we go. No room is safe. The Bogart can attack you if you do not drive him away with the bright light of a kerosene lamp, even though he won't let go of you that easily. Uh, right, so I need a kerosene lamp. Okay. I guess. I'll find one. Am I done here? No idea. Maybe. I don't think I was done there. What else do I do? Did I hear something? Oh, maybe I have to take the lamp. Okay, cool. So, now I'm safe. Right, I need to find and drive away. How do I find him? Whoa. Interesting. Is that him? What if I don't drive him away? Now he's in here. Oh, how do I reach him? What's this? Tale of the oven. A long time ago, a family had an oven. The oven warmed the house very little. Every day, the owners scolded it. So they began to drown it with raw firewood and not to rake out the ashes. The oven started to smoke. The owners got even angrier at the oven. They began throwing rotten firebrands into the furnace. In a bad house, even evil feels at ease. An evil spirit appeared in the oven and turned the oven on its owners. The hour of sleep came and the stove began to smoke more than ever. Nobody woke up in the morning. People who live in glass houses should never throw stones. I'll pretend that whole thing made sense. Ah. Again, easy solution. Don't be poor. That was the case. No problem with uh, the oven that doesn't work. Once upon a time, there was a girl living in a village. She loved to play and walk like all the other girls. One day, grandmother sent to her, Always come back before dark, because if you linger on your way home, you may see a wandering light, but don't follow it. Such a light would only bring misfortune. Darkness comes early in autumn. 
It seems like a sunny day and suddenly darkness had come and nothing is visible. The girl had been playing for a long time and it was time to go home. Suddenly she saw a light in the darkness of the forest. A beautiful and bright light attracted her. She forgot about her grandmother's warnings and followed the light. The light moved further and further and the girl was trying to chase it. She ran for a long time but couldn't catch up with it. The light laughed and went out. She was left in the dark alone with the forest, evil spirits and fears. She called her grandmother, but no one could hear her. The girl returned home only in the morning. She was all gray-haired. Nobody knows what she saw there, but she had been silent since then and doesn't leave the house anymore. Okay, that is a creepy story. What? What did she see? Am, am I about to find out? You. Was it him? Nah, he's not that scary. Must have been something worse. Are you scared? Yeah. Sure, let's go. What? What was that? I can't move. Oh, he has anti-gravity powers. I can move again. Okay, let's get out of here. No room is safe. Ah, so now I have to do everything, like everything, everything. Ah. Okay, are you kidding me right now? Do I still have to do the bells thing? I mean, I don't know, maybe. To conduct research, I decided to use a sleep manipulation machine as part of the self-delusion project. By stimulating brain impulses, sleep is reformatted and the patient is immersed in the space we need. After all, when we sleep, our brain has no doubts about the reality of what is happening. Under conditions of stress, Lena's consciousness itself will open the way to sleep for creatures and begin to fight them, in theory. The patient will not be limited by the laws of our world and will be able to act outside of the box and subdue his fears without unnecessary risk to himself and others. Is the moral of the whole story going to be don't send your children to crazy psychiatrists? Because judging by that letter, could be what her mom has done. And that's why this is happening. I don't think there are bells here, so... Probably safe to... Oh, I don't have a kerosene lamp. Oh, I do have a kerosene. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm carrying one the whole time. Uh, uh, what is that? I need to get to the... Well, now I don't. Try again. Okay, so I don't need to be looking for bells in this one. That's good. At least that. I have one doll. Bogart is somewhere in this room. Uh, uh, where? 
Where? Where? He has stolen something from me. Where? Where? I can't see him. Can he be in a closet? Behind the door? Where is he? Where was he? Hmm. Okay, what? No warning? Hmm. Here we go again. That thing. In this room? Oh, here he is. Yeah, hold on, dolls. Only one match though. Okay, the light is on. In this room or was it the kitchen? Maybe it's the kitchen. Now I'm not sure which room. Here? No, 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 no. Where is he? He where? Don't understand. Where is he? <laughs> This is very confusing. Was he under the table? Oh, behind the door. Maybe he was behind the door. Oh, there he is. Hmm. Oh, this little guy is everywhere. Oh, I already have the bells in front of the windows from last time. Okay, that's good. No, 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 no,
Who is the object here? Quiet. Wait, no, I want the sun. Okay. <laughs> what do we have here? Matches. Nice. Do we have dolls? Yes, one doll. Okay. Maybe behind the door? No. Not in the table. He's not under the table. Hey, seriously, what? <coughs> what? That little guy. Mm -hmm. Hey, I don't want to spend too much time in this room, because then... Oh, it's somewhere in this room. Again! Hey, where? What's his, what's his hiding spot here? Am I just not seeing him? Oh, there! Too late. Now I know where he hides. Up on the shelves. have all the dolls. I don't want to feed the oven yet. I want to wait for it to get a little angrier so I can spend all the dolls. Hmm.
found you. It's like a, an evil demon playing hide and seek. I have all the matches. Oh, there he is. Yeah, maybe I can just wait now. I don't know how quickly the oven will get upset with me. Oh, the noise. Weird that that little guy hasn't shown up to play hide and seek yet. Hmm. No, no. Okay. <laughs> Fifth hour. Corridors, disgusting buggard thought that he was the owner of my house. I showed him how wrong he was. What next? Will the creatures keep their promise and will I see my mother? Only hope gives me strength. This fire evacuation. The tale of the scarecrow. Many holidays are celebrated in our village, but my favorite is Maslenitsa. The people are tired after a cold winter and are looking for warm warmth. That's why we burn stuffed straw at the stake. One girl decided to make such a scarecrow that everyone in the village would envy. She sewed bags with marsh, marsh sedge and filled them with dry straw. She painted its eyes out of buttons and painted its mouth with red paint. The girl was very satisfied with her work. Evening has come and the neighbors are having fun celebrating and burning stuffed straws. The girl did not want to burn her scarecrow, decided to keep it for herself. 
items must be used for their intended purpose. A thing without a purpose is not needed and the unclean power starts up in it. And so it happened, the scarecrow was created to burn, so it was looking for fire and heat, and found it. Scarecrow caught fire from a candle and the whole hut burned down. There is a place for everything and everything has its place. <laughs> These are so horrible. The scarecrow wants to burn together with you. If there are too many active candles in the house, the scarecrow will start chasing you. So turn candles off in time. There may be obstacles on your way. Some of them you can climb. The training room is on the right. Ah. Training room, huh? That the scarecrow? Run from here, hurry, get out. If you say so. Run where? Okay, the door opened. Did it? I thought it did. Ah, run where? What is this? What? I can't go that way. I'm dead. Yeah, okay. <sighs> I can die during training? Disgusting Bogart thought that he was the owner of my house. Ah, uh, yep. I can also die in the school. Okay, here we go. I think. No. What? But, oh, I have to read it this first? Okay. I read it. Now I run? No. Why? Okay, there it is. Is the scarecrow going on stage? I guess. The intro with the buttons. Oh, interesting. Can you use one of those fractal things that you had on, on some other pages? Those look cool too. Why is it locked? What do I do? No! This way? Okay, that's the right way. Ah. Now where? Left the right. Hey, seriously, do I have to memorize the way? Knives stuck in it? Oh no, I think those are all branches. Okay, time to run. Mm. Ah. Oh no, this way. Oh, it's telling me where to go. I see the sparkles. The sparkles are telling me where to go. Okay. 
But where are they now? Here? Yes. No, not here. Uh, where then? That way. No, 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 go, 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 go. Go. Why can't I go? Move? I can't. Can't go through. Do I just hide it then? Nope, I'm dead. What was I supposed to do? I'll try again. So it's this way. Now what? Do I have to turn this off or can I just walk through? Oh, the scarecrow doesn't like water. Okay, good to know. It found a workaround. <laughs> What workaround? Found another way? What is this? One of the rooms is open. Which one? That one? It's out on the right side. Oh well. Scene 14. Out of the frying pan into the fire. The scarecrow wants to burn together with you. Hmm. Sixth hour.
What's that sound? Encivo is near. Where? Where? Okay, I have to. No, not the, that thing. No. <laughs> the shoe killed me. What's that sound? Probably that thing rolling around. Oh, that guy. Wait, do I touch him or something? What's the... I don't get it. No, he killed me. What? Uh... Okay. Right. Oh, no. Is that the scarecrow? Oh, so I mustn't have too many candles active. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Hmm. So I can have like one candle, maybe. Oh, I guess that means there are too many candles on. Oh yeah, there he is. Okay, I'll just keep them turned off.
Here? No, it's not here. There? Oh, there, but I can't reach the bell. I can't. Fine so far. That thing. Ah. Okay, where is Zancy? Not here. Okay, it's over. <laughs> Good that I remembered where the candles were and put them out in time, although if the scarecrow set fire to the house, then all the creatures perhaps would have burned down, along with me, even thinking about it scares me. Oh, there's more. Oh yeah, I still haven't been to the basement. Hey, what's the next lesson that will make me regret everything? If it turns red in the eyes and Liko starts killing you, find the heart of this creature and destroy it. Focus on sounds. How? What? One rainy day, a Liko appeared in the village. The villagers began to get sick and the cattle started dying out. Nobody knew what to do, how to drive away the creature. Axes and fire had no effect on Liko, and it is impossible for the villagers to leave for other lands because they will have to lose all their property. The villagers were in despair, there was no hope for a help and someone even began to worship Liko, hoping for its mercy. Suddenly, an old man appeared near, near the village. He le leaned back on he leaned on a stick, walked with difficulty and was dressed in rags. The stranger asked the inhabitants, What happened to you, good people? Who harmed you? Can I help you with your problem? The residents replied, Go on your way, old man. How can you help if you can barely stand on your feet? I may be old and weak, but I am wiser than you. I know what to do with your misfortune. 
forgive us, old man. Help us if you can. We don't have the strength anymore. You need to look in the houses for something that was not there before and doesn't belong there. The inhabitants did not understand what to look for, but they began to search through the huts. They searched day and night until one girl found a strange thing, living heart, Likla belonging. belonging. The old man took the heart and pierced it with an ordinary nail. Immediately, Likla yelled in an inhuman voice and disappeared. The residents arranged a feast to celebrate the rescue. They wanted to call a stranger, but only he had already left the village. So, like a vampire? St stab it through, through the heart? Okay. I guess. Oh, that is creepy. Get away from me. And it's smiling. If it turns red and starts killing me, find the heart of this creature and destroy it. How do I destroy it? Oh, what's happening? Am I back at the... No. Are those all Likos? What drugs is my character on? I will not interfere with their strange ceremony. What is that? Oh, is that like that big shoe? That kept killing me? It looks similar. If I'm not interfering with their ceremony, what am I doing? I'll just go away. Go back. Back to safety. Can I do that? No. There is no turning back. What do we do then? Oh, go to the cemetery. Follow the same path. I'm sure that I will find Liko's heart in this basement. There are no more options. Okay, to the basement then. Um, I can't go this way. Okay, what is the right way? Oh, here, yeah. Is it... Is it here? No. I need to find his heart. Um... Oh, that thing that they're worshipping, but I, I'm not allowed to get close. Maybe I missed it. No, it wasn't here. I would have seen it. Yeah, that's the thing, but how do I reach it? I can't, it's too far. Oh, this is so confusing. And what do I do? Hey, what do I do? Can't go that way. Maybe the heart is something I haven't found yet? But what could it be? Oh, 
Oh, the basement. Okay. Through the tunnel. Through the big creepy tunnel. With glowing mushrooms, glow in the dark mushrooms. And random wires coming out of the ground. The heart of this creature is already close, I can hear it. It's beating. Louder, louder. Where is it? Oh, is that it? How do I destroy it then? Hey, what what do I do? Oh no, that's Liko, so what's the heart? Is this the heart? Oh, I see it. Hey, now what do I do? Uh, uh. Uh. Okay, so those dolls were just worshipping it. I don't understand why those ugly toys dragged me to an abandoned village. I did not worship Liko, instead pierced its heart with a nail. I feel this is not our last meeting because Liko will not die so easily. <sighs> Hello, Avin, my friend. I have come to feed you again. I have been doing this for hours. That sounds... Ah! That's it. Fair enough, the noisy object. But I'm supposed to go to the basement now? No. Not yet. Not just yet. Ah! No, 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 no. Light! No, 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 no. Am I just supposed to be walking around looking for that heart? Maybe, maybe I am. Ah! Oh wait. Urgently look for his heart. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Already, I don't have matches. Yeah. That only works if the candle is lit. Okay, now I have matches.
Oh, now the blogger thing is here. There he is. Go away. What was that? Ah! Not supposed to find me like this. Turn off the noisy object. Wait, how do I find his heart? I thought I was in the basement. So it's just somewhere anywhere? Maybe there is another way to the basement? Yeah, it's not this. To look for it. I'm about to die. Where do I find that heart? How do I find that heart? Oh, the oven is worried? The oven is not my problem right now. Oh yeah. Follow the heartbeat. Okay. Toys? Hopefully matches. Toys and matches. Bogart has stolen something from me. Where is it? That's what I'd like to know. Is it in this room or in that previous room? Is it here? Here? Where is it? All of it is found. Okay, fine. Whatever. Where's the bugger thing? I don't see it anywhere.
wait, it's what? Ah, no, 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 no. I tried, 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 tried. Ah, but I also have to find the heart. Wait, am I supposed to hear a heartbeat? Oh, okay, I had to make the sound louder. But Leshi is here. I have to wait for it to leave now. Okay, please leave. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Like, it's louder here, but... Yeah. He was quick. What was that? Wait, they're all here? I have to find the heart first. I still haven't learned like how to find this freaking heart. Is there a closet here? Yeah, but that's not gonna help because I'm about to die.
the heartbeat doesn't get like increasingly louder as I move around the house, at least from what I, I can notice. I'm dead. Ah, okay, trying again. Uh, no. He's the guy that sh I think he's the guy that shows up if I don't uh, turn off all the noisy objects. And Sibal is the one at the window. The names of those creatures. There's that guy. Now I have to find the heart. And I don't know how. What's this anyway? Like I actually don't know how to find the heart. Can't worry about the bogart now. Oh. On the fireplace. Isn't this? Oh, here he is. Oh! 
could be. Matches, dolls. Ah. Hey, where's Bogart? There. Do I reach him? Okay. Okay, now where is the so the heart is in the safe room? Like where? I can't, I can't find it. Was in the bucket. Okay, cool. Did that work? Find it. All right. <laughs> okay, it's almost over. Screeching toy. Ah. Okay, I'll just hide. <laughs> I'll sit it out it here. I really can't get out of here now. 
just have to wait it out. Silver, how long is that night? Eight hours? Liko really scared me when it appeared right out of the floor. And I had to pierce its heart again. I wonder how many more hearts it has. <laughs> Better not to throw the nail out yet. Oh, look at all these lessons. Study and study again. Yeah, okay, great. What's this? Sometime between the tragedy at the school and the start of the simulation, people in costumes appeared at the research institute. They became interested in Lena's case and took full control of the study. People in costumes? As I understand, it was in their suggestion that the memory of Lena being taken from her mother be played, so further immersion into the simulation was initiated. It seems to me that their motives are not to help Lena, but rather they see opportunity in her abilities, making the simulation uncomfortable. That's an understatement. What am I supposed to do with this? I'm stuck in here. One against all. The final hour, yes. I, I believe I can do it because mother is waiting for me. Maybe she'll be there when I wake up from whatever this is. dolls. What is making that weird noise? Where is it now? There. Yes. Hey, where is Antsy trying to get in from? 
Bringing objects. Ah. Air crows awake. Oh, there he is. Retreated for now. Ah. The scarecrow caught fire. What am I supposed to do about that? For his heart, he was here, right? Yeah, I don't know where. Oh, he's here, so the heart is here somewhere. This is it. Where is it? Where could the heart be? Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is that heart? Find it. What? Eight hour has passed. I did it, and even though I'm dead tired, I don't feel like sleeping at all. I wanted to leave this place and never come back. I can't fully comprehend what has happened. I hope I will never see those creatures again. I understand the feeling. I do, completely. What a headache. Yeah, last minute. Yeah, I was uh, hooked up to some machines in a hospital, yep. Also, they were like showing me these images or... This. Notes? It hurts me to look at the girl's futile attempts to solve such a difficult task. To generate sleep, we use short-term memory, which we clear after each death of Lena. Therefore, she does not remember her failures, of which there were a lot. But I remember, there were a lot. Institute management doesn't care how long the simulation takes. Meanwhile, Lena's whole young life passed by. Lena needs to get out of the simulation as soon as possible. I can't help her because the program will only finish when the time comes. My superiors don't know, but I placed tutorial locations in Lena's sleep. These locations contain experience from her past attempts. In addition, I detected another feature. Elena's distorted memories began to change the simulation code. I tried to block them, but it only led to a complete restart of the sleep. Wait, what? No, 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 I have to get out of here. Okay. Well, I'm not going through this again. Oh, I kicked it, huh? Here you are again. Get out of my way. 
Oh, I have to run? Get out of here? But what's the way out? I feel like we can do anything. I'm still asleep. Oh wait, it's I'm still in the fire in the school where I didn't die? Or did I? Is this just me having a coma dream after the fire? Like a really bizarre near-death experience or something. Well, I haven't tried the that door, have I? Now I have. So what were they supposed to do? She said she won't run. This way? Oh, here's the red light. Research facility, research institute status destroyed by fire. Observation object number 9 missing. The computer center was constantly working in the mode of increased loads, so it's not surprising. Okay. The wiring was punctured. This was a cool game. Yeah. Thanks for watching everyone.